welcome back to my series on cascading style sheets. And in this episode, we're going to take a look at how to construct a horizontal menu like the one you see here. Okay, we're back at w3schools.com looking at the CSS or cascading style sheet tutorial. And the topic that we're looking at is float. And if you navigate down to the bottom, under more examples, you'll see almost at the end of the list, creating a horizontal menu. And that's what I used to model my menu after. So take a look at that and play around with it. And make sure to give it a try. I think you'll like these menus. We are looking at my external style sheet for my God Loves the Irish webpage. And specifically, we're concerned with how I construct the stylings of an unordered list. Now, the first few entries are the ones that matter. Those highlighted in blue. You want to float left, set your width at 100%, padding and margin at zero, and list style type of none. Everything else here I added for my unique page. So I set my text aligned to center. And then I positioned the menu with, with an absolute setting of 300 pixels from the left and 50 pixels from the top. This is my style sheet entry for list items within my unordered list. And the key thing here is I'm saying display in line. I added everything else just to give the look and feel I wanted for the menu. I've got a background color of hexadecimal 008000, which just happens to be a nice green. My font size I set to 1EM or normal. I'm adding some padding. 5 pixels at the top and 5 at the bottom. 10 to the right and 10 to the left. And that's it. Here is my style sheet entry for links. Now the key thing here is I'm saying I want to float left. That's key. My width is set, set to 6 EM. I have no text decoration, so I'm not underlining my link. I'm changing my link color to white on a nice emerald green background. I'm giving it some padding. And then I'm giving it a border to the right, one pixel wide, that is solid white. This is my style sheet setting for any link I hover over. So it begins with A for anchor, colon, hover. And what I'm saying here is change the text color to a hexadecimal value of FF4500, which is that brilliant orange we have on our web page. Leave the background color, our green, and no text decoration, so don't underline this link. Just change the color to orange. The HTML code needed to create our menu is pretty straightforward. First of all, we need an unordered list. So we begin one here. Then I need a series of list items. Here I begin my first list item, and here I end it. Now my list item consists of an anchor tag for a hyperlink. After turning 
the hyperlink on. I then insert the text I want to appear in my menu and turn the anchor off. And I continue this for each item I want on the menu. After I've got them all, I end my unordered list. That's all there is to it. The end result is this attractive green and white menu at the top of our page right here. And notice when I hover, my text changes in color from white to orange. And of course, green, white, and orange are the colors of Ireland.